got some charcoal in the chimney some wood right here once it gets hot i'll put this on there so it can preheat the wood a little bit spark up the tumbleweed got a little bit of charcoal probably like a quarter filled put it on top let us do its thing tumbleweeds on the bottom getting the charcoal lit and then we'll throw it in the beginning right here and then it'll burn slowly over time offset cooking the ribs welcome everyone chill just cook back with another great episode today we're going to be smoking some baby back ribs on the weber using some apple chunks and some charcoal this was some simple basic ingredients keep it real simple and let it come out good probably take four or five hours got everything set up got the chimney going looking good stay tuned for all the steps Here's all the ingredients you're gonna need to make some delicious ribs. Got a nice baby back rib for the binder today. You can use no binder. I'm gonna use some Worcestershire sauce, W sauce. You can use any kind. You're just putting a light layer so it can hold the seasoning. A Little bit of kosher salt. Some fresh ground pepper. And a little bit of pecan rub just to add a little bit of color and then when it's done i might top it with some of this barbecue sauce just to add a little bit of extra flavor or i might leave them without it we'll see thank you guys all the ingredients bam got the ribs keep it really simple Got the charcoal offset right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of water, hot water in there, just to add some steam. Got the charcoal going. Probably add a few chunks of these in there just to get it preheated to make sure the smoke's nice and clean to start the cook. Over time, the, the wood will burn this way in the charcoal and it'll keep the temp around 250 and we'll be looking good. Using these apple chunks and some Kingsford. Let's go. Gonna season up the ribs, put a little bit of this for the binder. We'll start on the bottom. I just scored the bottom instead of pulling off the membrane, just try it out, try different ways. Got a little Worcestershire. Oh. Fresh ground pepper, add a nice part flavor the pepper likes to add a bark it makes it comes out with a good bark especially on like briskets and bigger cuts of meat you know mellow out over time got that damn a little kosher salt Keep it simple today. Little bit of pecan just for some color. Light coat. Damn. 
Flip it over. A little more Worcestershire. Give it a little rub. Fresh pepper. Get a nice layer. Salt. Little bit of pecan for color and flavor. Looking good. One more glove. Pat it in. Let it adhere to the meat for a little bit while the charcoal's preheating. Then we'll be ready to throw them on. Looking good. Simple. Perfect. Ready to go. We'll let them sit out for like 10 15 minutes and then we'll throw them on. Yay! Got some hot steaming water. Gonna add, in, add it into the water bath right here. I just lined a pie pan with some foil, add the hot water in there. Add some moisture to the cook. Charcoal on this side, the meat will be over the water. Looking good. Almost time to throw the charcoal in. Some charcoal right here, wood chunks, preheated. Take those off first. Gonna add the hot charcoal to the front. Perfect. Start that off right there. Damn. Put the grate back on. Let it preheat for a little bit and then we'll be good to go. Yee. Time to throw the ribs on. The seasoning's been adhering. Let's throw them on. Beautiful ribs right here. Put them right here. Shape them up. Probably check back in like an hour, maybe spritz them if we want. If not, just leave them as they are and then we'll cook them for like I said four to five hours and they'll be looking good we're gonna be cooking them at 250 come out really good got the fat the bigger side right here closer to the fire got some nice smoke coming off time to close it up Adjust the vents right here to make the the temperature right here go up and down. 
and we'll put the vent right over the meat. Looking good. The ribs after about two and a half hours smoking, gonna spritz them a little bit, let them go for probably another hour, then I'll wrap them up. Got a little bit of apple juice, put it on this. Oh. Looking good. Do the bend test. Oh yeah, almost there. Everything you'll need to wrap up the ribs. It's about that time. They've been smoking for about three, three and a half hours. Looking nice, got a good smoke, some good color. Ready to wrap them up, get them nice and tender. This right here is just a little bit of barbecue sauce, apple juice, some butter, melted it down. I'll use this as a little bit of a glaze to put on there. Help tenderize it. And I'll sprinkle some brown sugar nice thin layer on top let's go brown sugar and then the barbecue glaze trying something different about to pull off the ribs wrap them in foil throw them back on for another two out round two hours Put a little bit of this down. Just to add some moisture. Oh, the ribs look amazing. Check the bend test. Looking good. Bones pulling away. Check them out. Nice color. Really, really good. Come down like this. Take some of the liquid. Nice coat. Put some gloves on. Got some nice brown sugar right here. Put a thin layer. Wrap it meat side down, one side over. Once you 
once we wrap it, we'll probably cook it for another hour, two hours till the bones are pulling away from the meat. Nice and tender. Just like that. up everyone welcome back the ribs have been cooking for about four and a half hours five I'm gonna take them out check them if they're done I'm gonna put a little bit of glaze I made I used some uh, butter some brown sugar some strawberry jelly made like a little um, sauce and then strained it so it's gonna be a nice glaze on top of the ribs so we'll pull them out right now and check them out if they need longer we could throw them back in it's good to check them Make sure they're not overdone. If anything, we'll just throw them back in. Made like a nice sauce. It's like nice glaze over the ribs. Add a nice color and flavor. Looking bomb. Pulling away from the bone, nice. Looking good. Pulled the ribs after two hours, wrapped in foil. Gonna flip them, throw the glaze on, and just let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Looking really good. The bone's coming out. Nice. Nice and tender. Looking really good. Chill, just cooked. Beautiful. Backyard barbecue. Yee. Got this glaze right here. Gonna add that in. Be bomb. Got the beautiful glaze. Gonna flip them over. Ooh, perfect. I'm gonna make like a little boat. Let them rest in here. Let me get the glaze. Nice light coat. Look at that color. flavor and for sure a beautiful color. I'll let them rest like this in here for about 15-20 minutes and we should be looking good. Baby back ribs smoked on the Weber. Took about four or five hours. came out bomb gonna let them just rest for a little bit they'll be good to go 
tender, pulling away from the meat. Looks good. Throw them back on for about 10 minutes just to let the sauce harden up a little bit. Looking really bomb. Chill, just cook. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like. Ribs looking amazing. Got a nice color. Coming out really bomb. Ribs all done. Letting them rest for a few minutes. Then ready to slice them. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hit that like. Chill, just cook. Look amazing. Beautiful color, tender. Pulling away from the, the bones, pulling away. Perfect. Cooked for about four and a half, five hours. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Peace. Let's give it a taste test. Got the beautiful rib. Look at that. Nice color. Let's try it out. Mmm. So good. Mmm. <laughs> Till next time, everyone.